Hello, I'm Francesca Lim and I'm studying fashion marketing at Leeds Beckett University and this is my vlog on my buyer behaviour. So, what is marketing? According to the American Marketing Association, marketing is the process of creating, communicating and delivering and exchanging offerings that have value to the customer, client, partners and society at large. A customer is the person who purchases and pays for a product, service or other form of offering for a company or organisation, whereas a consumer is the user of the product or service. To assess my purchase behaviour, I'm going to break it down into three different buying situations. The first one is routine problem solving. These purchases are often frequently purchased with low price items that involve low risk. A product that I buy that explains this is milk. Milk is a staple product in my weekly shop. The purchase involves little thought process because it's something I often buy, so I know it's going to satisfy my needs. According to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the purchase of this product meets my physiological needs. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is a triangle-shaped structure with five categories. We start at the bottom of the hierarchy, looking to fill our most basic needs, and move up the structure once these needs are satisfied. The physiological need is the need that as humans, we can't live without, such as food, water, sleep and oxygen. Therefore, the purchase of milk satisfies this need of hunger and thirst. Next, I'm going to talk about limited problem solving. These are less frequent purchases that are more deliberate. There's often higher risk involved in these purchases than with a routine problem solving. A product I have recently bought that has limited problem solving is a jumper from the brand ASOS. The theory of brand behaviour is based on a number of constructs. The first one is attitudes. This is when we evaluate whether the purchase of the product will have a positive or negative impact on our lives. In my case, it was whether I liked the jumper that I was buying or the price it was being sold, so therefore it would make a positive contribution to my life. Subjective norms are the beliefs of other people, such as peers and family members, whether they approve or disprove of my behaviour. Before purchasing the product, I asked my friends what they thought of it. They all agreed with me. The next step is perceived behavioural control which describes the ease or difficulty of making the purchase. ASOS is an online store, so it's quick and easy to purchase the item of clothing and have it delivered. They also do free returns, which meant I knew it wouldn't be a waste of money if I didn't like it, because I could just send it back. I've also used this company many times before, so I know that it's reliable. Another theory to explain my purchase is Roger's theory of diffusion of innovation. This theory splits people into five categories. The first one is innovators who are often younger, more confident and financially strong. Then there's early adopters, who are the opinion leaders. Then there's the early majority, who lack assurance that the product is proven in their market before their purchase. Then the next category is the late majority. People in this category tend to be sceptical of new ideas. This could be because they have a below average income and education. The final category is laggards, who are suspicious of new or new ideas and their opinions are hard to change. Applying this theory to my buyer behaviour, I would consider myself an early adopter. Therefore, I'd like to look at the new trends from the innovators before making my purchase of the jump. An extended problem solving purchase that I recently made was renting a house for next year. Extended problems are infrequent, long-term commitments that have high costs and high risks. A theory that explains this is consumer proposition acquisition. This has six stages. The start is when we realise we have a problem that needs solving. This is the motive development stage. The problem that I had was that I needed somewhere to live for next year. The next stage is information gathering, where we actively search for a way to solve our problem and build awareness by gaining knowledge about the problem. In my case, I looked online at house rental sites to look for potential properties, then arranged a viewing at a selection of them. Then I had to evaluate my decision. Once I'd been around a few houses, I evaluated them to choose which one would fulfil my needs the best. Then I made a selection on a house. The next stage is acquisition, where I had to go into the company's office and sign a contract. The final stage is post-purchase evaluation. At this stage, we may be regretful for what we bought if we didn't find it solved our problems. 